Welcome back to the FreeQMS 5-Minute Video Series, our series that will get you up and running on any module in just 5 minutes or less. Today we will be walking through the Audits module. Firstly, you will navigate to the webpage freeqms.com. We will assume you've created a FreeQMS account from our last video, in which case you will click Login. Once logged in, you will be taken to the FreeQMS homepage, which will display all the available modules in the program. From here, you can click Users on the left side of the screen if you desire to change permissions for any of your employees. If you take this step, be sure to return to the homepage when you're done. From here, you will see the main audit screen that lists all created audits. Now you can click the Create Audit button at the top of the page under the search bar. If you have seen any of the form pages from any of FreeQMS's other modules, you won't be too shocked here. FreeQMS prioritizes ease of use, so these forms should all be fairly similar. Once you tile your audit at the top, the remaining mandatory fields will be Audit Type Coordinator, which is an automated drop-down field populated by the users in your company Auditee, which is populated from your supplier record Auditee Location, which is auto-populated Auditee Contact, which is also auto-populated Auditor, which is a drop-down and Auditor Contact Once you've at least filled out these fields, you can hit the Create button at the bottom left of the form this will save the audit form and take you back to the audit list. At the module directory, you can click the audit you just created to take you back to the form. At the top, you will see various tabs you can utilize, like the Audit Activities tab, the Linked Records tab, where you can create links to the appropriate records, the Files tab, where you can upload and attach any necessary documentation, the Tasks tab, where you can assign tasks to other users, and the Approvals tab, where you can run approval cycles with your team. And really, it's as simple as that. You're set up on the Audits module. Stay tuned for a brief walkthrough of our next 5-minute tutorial on the next module.